What's up guys, welcome to Superwise. I'm John and I just finished watching Obi-Wan Kenobi episode six. And yeah, it was great, it was exciting, it's pretty much everything I wanted out of the show, and it really delivered. The rematch was insanely cool. I mean, the way they confronted each other, Obi-Wan said, I will do what I must. A callback to, of course, Revenge of the Sith. There were some sick moves in that fight with Obi-Wan doing his flourishes with the lightsaber. It was so cool. Then Obi-Wan lifts all the rocks and throws them at Vader. Obi-Wan was insanely powerful and it was so awesome to see. When Obi-Wan slashed Vader's helmet, I was like, yeah, we're seeing Hayden Christensen. And that scene was chilling. I mean, seeing Hayden Christensen in that scene, you know why George Lucas cast him in the role. The way he coldly delivered his lines when talking about how Anakin is gone. I mean, he himself was chilling. And it was so dope to hear the voices go from Vader back to Anakin. The B story with Reva was fine. It's not like I loved her as a villain. I thought she was serviceable and I thought Moses Ingram did a solid job. She was doing her job. I really liked that scene when Reva's on the ground, she's crying and Obi-Wan has that little heart to heart with her. It was also cool to see Joel Edgerton back as Uncle Owen holding his own. It was of course awesome to see Ian McDermott back as the Emperor. It was nothing big or major. It was just cool to see him cameo. Obi-Wan meets Luke and he says the famous line, hello there. So that was awesome to hear. Finally, Liam Neeson returns as Qui-Gon Jinn. Bro, that was so incredibly awesome to see him return after all of these years. I'm so happy we got that cameo, seeing that little interaction before the show ended. That was the cherry on top. Overall, I really loved the show. I enjoyed it. I think I would give it maybe an 8 out of 10, 8.5 out of 10. Again, I'm tired of the six episode format. I feel like this show could have been longer. You could have had eight, nine, ten episodes. Really dive into Vader, what he's been doing since Revenge of the Sith. What are his feelings on things? Is there an inner conflict with him? You could have fleshed more things out. The Inquisitor stuff was like... It was just there. I didn't really care. But the show was satisfying and delivered on what it needed to. As a Star Wars fan, I'm very happy with what we got. While it could be improved, kicked Book of Boba Fett's ass, so that's for sure. I'd be down for a season two. Ewan McGregor himself is down for a season two, and the creators of the show are saying their ideas. I would love to see a Darth Maul return, because that was a plan, but then COVID hit and that screwed everything up. I think there's stuff you could do in a season two. I would watch it. So those are my thoughts on Obi-Wan Kenobi. I enjoyed it. I also really loved the dynamic between Obi-Wan and little Leia. I thought that was a very sweet and heartwarming relationship. Tell me in the comments down below, what did you guys think about episode six? Was this the rematch that you wanted to see? Were you disappointed? Were you satisfied with what we got? Tell me in the comments down below. Make sure to subscribe if you're into Marvel, DC, Star Wars movies in general. That'll be all for me. Remember my catchphrase, guys. Stay super wise.